<coughs> this is an ozonator I built myself here at home. Uh, uh, essentially what I have here is uh, two rolls of uh, copper mesh. Uh, I, I ordered those from Amazon.com. I think they cost me like a total of thirty dollars, something like that, with the shipping. And uh, I have electricity going between those. Uh, that's coming from a transformer. Uh, you probably can't see that so well. Turn the light on. We'll get a better look at this in a minute. Uh, it's coming from a transformer that I got from a neon light. Uh, I picked up the neon light from a guy that used to work at a store. That uh, he brought the neon light home from the store. And... Uh, so it cost me twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for transformer. That's like seven thousand watts or something. But um, uh, no, this is uh, it's all configured on a window pane. It's being held together by bungee cords. So we got a bungee cord, a window pane, a transformer, two rolls of copper, and we got the wires from the transformer. Uh, hooked up to the uh, the rolls of copper mesh uh, by different methods. One of them I have here uh, it is connected by solder. I soldered the wire right to the copper mesh. And then the other one uh, I have a, a copper wire which is called magnet wire that's wrapped around it. Go ahead and turn the light on right now and let you get a better look at it. Also I have uh, a fan dragging air past it and I have a little uh, filter on the fan. Uh, the purpose of the dragging air past uh, the ozonator as it is is uh, uh, the more air that passes the ozonator the more air becomes ozonated and so that's why you want to circulate the air past the ozonator. Okay, so here we got our copper wire coils, and we got some electricity going between those two. You can see that electricity sparked up right there in the middle. Um, I had them rolled up too tight before, and so they overheated, and they stopped transferring the electricity. So I uh, I rolled them out a little bit less. Um, I actually had them flat. Uh, on this glass and they weren't transferring electricity very much at all uh, so they weren't really generating so much ozone uh, you know if you're getting ozone by this glow that purple glow in between the uh, two pieces of copper there that's what tells you that, um, that your ozonator is really churning out some ozone okay so this is a transformer right there that was attached to a neon light. Uh, it was actually a neon light for a, a phone store. And I got it off of Craigslist for $20. Uh, this window pane I got for free. Another Craigslist item. Uh, the fan. I think the fan cost something like. Um, it was like. Fifty dollars or something at Walmart or Target, uh, but it's, it's one of their better fans. Uh, right now it's on a low setting because I don't want to really kill my plants with this fan because my trees seem to be really sensitive to the, uh, to the fan. That's all there is to it. The glass, the conductors on either side of the glass, the electricity cord in between them. The transformer. This one's a wire. That's why I got it hooked up there. It's really, uh, that's not so good. I got this wire hooked up. I need to uh, obviously shield this. Uh, I was thinking about putting an acrylic box all the way around this thing. Uh, so I put the acrylic box around the window and the fan. I'll make it all one unit. That's where I have a 
solder. Solder to the other wire. This wire is not so bad. I should still shield, um, shield these copper uh, rolls. Shield the copper rolls, shield the wire. Should be all set. There's a uh, quality ozonator. Very awesome. Strong ozone. 